Good evening, everybody. Hello, hello, guys. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Happy Tuesday. How are you? Everything good? Is everything nice? How is your Tuesday going? I see Yolanda. Great to see you, Yolanda. Irvin, thank you so much for being here. Fernando, I hope you're feeling better. I see Patricia, so good evening. Claudia, good evening. How you doing, guys? Is your day going well? Yes, of course, teacher. Nice, nice. That's really good to hear. All right. So thank you, guys, and welcome to our session number uh, six, right? Um, it's really nice to have you and the uh, time is flying for us you know week number two is almost over so um thank you so much for um working in the platform completing the exercises i was uh checking today and a lot of you have moved ahead a lot um i'm already working in unit number four so thank you so much for that my voice is getting like the normal one, so I'm super glad that um, you're not going to listen to a frog voice type of thing, you know? <laughs> All right. Um, Teacher, uh, yes. I, have a, I have a question about the exercise of Carnival in Rio. Um, are we because... talking about exercise 3.4? Yes. I'm not sure if it is the same exercise somebody asked me before classes yes. um, that you got to listen in and then you have to complete some exercises. Is that the one? Yes. Uh, okay. But the problem um, is, the, is the answer because mm -hmm. uh, we put uh, an answer and it's always incorrect. Mm, I know what you're talking about. All right. Um, so right now I only got eight people. I'm expecting like around 20. So we are going to wait for most, you know, of you guys to be here. So we can go into the platform and check that exercise. Don't worry. Okay. But um, just, you know, as a general uh, idea, I can tell you that the difficulty with that exercise is that it is asking you to write like a full answer. So a full answer, uh, you're expected to have like subject, verb, and complement. So for example, if you write like a short answer, uh, like imagine that they ask you, for example, how many people are there and you say four, uh, the platform, because it is automatic, that, that will not uh, be accepted. So you have to write it is four or there are four, for example. So you gotta write a full, a full answer, but don't worry about it. Uh, we are going to be checking that in a couple of minutes so everybody can have more clarity. And also remember that um, platforms are like automatic. So sometimes capital letters, they have the first letter has to be capital. The period has to be at the end. If you don't write the period, even though your answer is okay, it will not be accepted. So well, we are going to check that in a couple of minutes. Thank you for, for bringing that up because I think that uh, most of you then have the same difficulty with that exercise. Um, Sofia, good evening. I see Josue Santa Maria as well. Jasmine, good evening, guys. Good evening. Thank you so much for joining. Hello, hello. Glad to see you. And so let's get um, into, let's get down to business. Okay, and let's start working with the exercises that we have for today. Uh, we do have a little homework, but it's just like the four questions we had before uh, in which you had to um, like get one question, practice it ahead of time, and then present it today. We are going to do it in a couple of minutes randomly as we have been doing. Uh, today we are going to, you know, work a little bit more with this uh, general infinitive, especially the part of uh, speaking. And uh, we are going to get started. Uh, if time is grateful with us, we are going to be uh, starting also unit number three. So to get started, I have a little exercise that is pronunciation exercise, all right? Uh, pronunciation probably is a topic or an area we hardly practice because of the time, but let's take a couple of minutes to practice this. Um, in English, we have something that is called tongue twisters. They are super helpful with pronunciation. Um, probably that looks 
easy, but it is not. <laughs> so uh, tongue twister is actually meant for you to repeat, you know, the more you repeat, um, the easier pronunciation gets and also your fluency gets better. So let me read this for you. And then we are, we are gonna have like some volunteers reading it for the rest of the class. So it goes like this. I saw Susie sitting in a Shushan shop where she said she shines and where she shines she sits. So it's just a repetition, right? Like Chinese. <laughs> mm, actually in Spanish, we call them trabalenguas. Uh -huh. So in English, that would be a tongue twister. Mm -hmm. There are a lot. If you got like the time to memorize one of them, that would be nice. That would be really cool. So guys, uh, practice with me, okay? And then we are going to have individual practice too. So let's go and read up to sitting. So I saw Susie sitting. I saw Susie sitting. Susie sitting. Okay, let's do it one more time. Try not to open your mouth that much, okay? And try to say it in, in one whole idea. So I saw Susie sitting. I mm -hmm. Very good. Now here, in a in a shoe shine shop. 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 Okay. Now let's do the whole uh, sentence number one, like together, uh, in one go. So I saw Susie sitting in a shoe shine shop. I saw Susie so sitting in a shoe shine shop. Okay. Uh, let's go with the second part. Where she sits, she shines. Where she sits, she shines. Okay, where she sits. Where she sits. Where she sits. She sits. Okay, she and here we are going to put the two sounds together like this. Where she sits, she. Where she sits, she shines. Where she sits, she shines. Okay, a little recommendation I can give you with this sound is a smile. Uh, when you smile, it is easier. So where she sits, she shines. Where she sits, she shines. Nice. So if you smile, it's easier. Okay. And where she shines, she sits. And where she shines, she sits. Sits. <laughs> Be careful sits. with the last part. Sits. <laughs> okay. And where she shines, she sits. Okay. That's yeah, it. She shines, she shines. Easy. Now, the idea with this is to say it the fastest you can, all right? So, like, I saw Susie sitting in a Shushan shop where she sits, she shines, and where she shines, she sits. So, the fastest way you can do it, the better it will get because your pronunciation and your intonation will get a little better. So, I'm going to give you exactly one minute. I'm going to close. I'm going to turn off your microphones. Uh, so you can practice it in your house out loud. Um, remember, practice doesn't mean in my head, okay? My English from my head and my English that comes out is different. So practice it, say it out loud. I saw Susie, I saw Susie, I saw Susie sitting, I saw Susie sitting. And there you go, you know, and you repeat it uh, as many times as you can. So I'll give you one minute, guys. And then we will have some volunteers or victims, whatever comes first. Thirty seconds.
Okay, everybody, time is over. So I'm going to, I want to get started with some victims today. So let me just select some voices. Um, I have not heard so far. So Mr. Santa Maria, you are the lucky one. <laughs> okay, um, so just read it to your face, right? The fastest, but, but this is something personal. So the fastest you can do it. Um, so are you ready, Mr. Santa Maria? Yes, I'm ready. Amazing, let's do it. I saw Susie sitting in a shoe shine shop where she sees she shines and where she shines she sits. <laughs> nice, that was good. Yeah, very good. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Uh, I don't have emojis here, but oh yeah, I got it. Okay, very good job. That was good. That was good. Okay, anybody else? Let's have just some volunteers. Yes, Let me oh. try. Okay, sure. I think that the voice was Rafael's, right? Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, I try to remember um, voices now. So let's go with <laughs> Rafael. Then I'll go with Sophie that I see her hand up. And then we'll go with Noemi. Okay, Rafael, let's do it. Okay. I saw Susie City in a shoe shine shop. Where she sits, she shines. And where she shines, she sits. Oh, very good. That was nice. That was really good. All right. Uh, Sofia, where did you go? <laughs> I think Sofia was ready. She disappeared. Uh, Sofia, are you good? I saw Susie City in a shoe shine shop where she sits. She sits. <laughs> That's okay. Where shine she sits. Oh, very nice. Okay, sounds good. Sounds good. Uh, let's go with Noemi. Okay. I saw Susie sitting in a shoe shine shop where she sits, she shines, and where she shines, she sits. Wow, that was super cool. All right, nice. Thank you. Claudia, yes, Claudia, let's do it. Okay, I saw Susie sitting in a shoe shine shop where she sits, she shines, and where she shines, she sits. Oh, very nice. Okay, very smooth. All right, thank you. I see Irvin as well. I saw Susie sitting in a shoe shine shop where she sits, she shines, and where she shines, she sits. Ah, oh, very nice. Okay, sounds really cool. This is one of the easiest stone twisters you can get. Very good job, guys. And for the ones I couldn't listen to, I'm sure you did an amazing job as well. Um, probably you will see like, ah, oh, what is this, you know? Tongue twisters are really good for pronunciation and especially for fluency. If you say, I want to speak a little faster, English is a lot of linking sounds. So tongue twisters are actually that. If you can memorize one of these, you know, that is going to help you a lot in the future. Don't worry about the meaning. Don't worry about the meaning of the words. It's just pronunciation, right? So let's go ahead and let's start with the topic that we got for today. Um, yesterday, we were talking a little bit about uh, gerunds and phonetics. So there is a video that I want actually to show you. Um, probably you have already seen it because it is in the platform, but give me one sec. Hold on. Um, okay. So it is in the platform in section number two. And uh, actually that is in uh, gerunds and infinitives for giving suggestions. So I'm pretty sure you have already seen it. Uh, give me one second. I think I'm not sharing my screen. No, I'm not. Okay, so this is the one. Um, this is exercise 2.8. So yesterday we were talking about, uh, for example, the verbs that are followed by infinitive, the verbs that are followed by gerunds. Do you remember a couple of verbs that are followed by infinitive? For example, after like, we use both. After love, infinitive or gerund. I love to eat, I love eating. I love to watch TV, I love watching TV. But for example, what are some specific verbs uh, in which you need a gerund? Do you remember? Like one or two verbs? We checked mine, for example. I don't mind doing it. I don't mind coming. I don't mind helping. Another verb.
Not that you can remember at the moment. What about infinitive? Any verb that you um, use, you know, uh, before infinitive? Watch, to call, to look. Uh, okay, okay. What about before? What about the verb that needs an infinitive after that? For uh, example. For, uh -huh. for example, uh, you use to the infinitive form uh, with advice, effort, agree. Okay, um, exactly. Hello. So, very nice. I exactly. need to need. need to. Exactly. Mm -hmm. After need, we only can use two. So I need two. I agree to. I advise. Enjoy. To, right. Mm, enjoy. That would be ing. I enjoy doing. I enjoy going. Mm -hmm. I enjoy helping. Mm -hmm. So exactly. Those are part of the verbs. Today, we are going to be checking this part of suggestions that you know we can use should to give a suggestion. We can also use have to. It is more like an obligation, but it is still kind of a, a very hard or a very tough suggestion. So let's check like one way to give suggestions using this topic. Give me one sec. Let me just make it bigger. Hello everyone. Before you watch the video, I want to remind you that imperatives are commands and they don't need a subject. Also, for giving suggestions, we will use an imperative as well as an infinitive. Stay around for more explanation. Imperatives and infinitives for giving suggestions. Be sure to turn it on. Don't forget to dial the area code. Make sure to hit the end button. Remember to pay the bill every month. Try not to talk for too long. This is how we use imperatives and infinitives for giving suggestions. When using an imperative, the subject is never mentioned and they always begin with a verb. And as said on the previous explanation, the infinitive is to plus a verb. Now let's think about a situation. These two kids are new to their English class and they say, we don't understand English. So let's give them a suggestion. We can say, study your verbs. But this sounds more like an instruction. So to make it a bit more polite and to actually sound like a suggestion, we may add, make sure to study your verbs. Check at the beginning we have no subject and then a verb, which means it's an imperative. Make sure. Moving forward to our infinitive to study. So when we put an imperative with an infinitive together, we can come up with a great suggestion. We will leave you now with some common expressions we use as imperatives to give suggestions. Be sure. Make sure, don't forget, remember, try. Let's make examples using these expressions. Be sure to practice with your friends. Make sure to use a dictionary. Don't forget to think in English. Remember to do your English homework. Try to pronounce properly. Now read these suggestions. Be sure to speak in your native language. Make sure to forget your dictionary. Don't forget to stay quiet in class. Remember to translate into your native language. Try to miss. All right, I'm gonna stop it right there because let's take a look at this part of the not thingy. Um, yesterday we said, for example, that to make them negative, normally we just include the not. So be sure not to speak in your native language, right? Um, or remember, to translate into your native language. Um, so just to make it negative, because this is not a good idea. Um, so remember, we just put not before the two. So remember not to translate. Remember to think in English, right? Um, she said something important. I can just tell you, speak in your native language. But the thing is that it doesn't sound polite. It is a suggestion, yes but it sounds like, a, like an obligation or it is not polite at all. So we can use any of these expressions just to make it sound nicer. Remember, um, English is about basic level would be speak, forget. Intermediate level would be, oh, be sure, make sure, like a little bit more elaborated, right? A little bit more beautiful, let's say. 
And um, there are, of course, more, more expressions that we can use. For example, it is important. Wait, I'm going to write it in the chat. We can use, for example, it is important to do this. Uh, it is necessary to do this. So any other expression you can use before the, the imperative, that is OK. So you can give recommendations in a nicer way. So um, I am pretty sure you have already checked this part. But let's go ahead and let's try to practice this topic giving suggestions. So what we are going to do now is the following. We are going to give suggestions uh, based on the following topics, based on. All right, there are a couple of things that are important or suggestions we are always asking. For example, when we go traveling, right? Wait, what's going on with my keyword? So imagine that I tell you, hey guys, um, I'm, on, I'm going on a trip, so I'm traveling pretty soon. And what are your suggestions before traveling, right? So don't just give me like imperatives. Oh, do this, do that. But try to be a little bit nicer. Try to elaborate it a little bit more. So topic number one is going to be suggestions when traveling. Number two, I am pretty sure that you know a lot about this. So maybe you can give us some recommendations if I tell you, hey guys, I'm thinking about get, getting a credit card. So what are your suggestions? What are your recommendations in regards to credit cards, right? And the last topic that we are going to be having is this one that is getting married. Probably you would say, oh no, remember not to get married, okay? <laughs> remember to think it twice, I don't know. Whatever recommendation you can give us, uh, let's try to apply these expressions, like be sure, make sure, it is important to remember, try to, remember to, et cetera. Normally we are going to be using to before the following um, suggestion we are given. Guys, I don't know if you're following me. Yes. Okay, thank you for the confirmation. So what we are going to be doing is the following. Because of the time restraints, I'm going to make three groups and you are going to be working only in one specific topic. Um, so you can see the number of the room you have been assigned and that is the topic that you will be working with. So Dagoberto, Fernando, Irving, Cristia, and Monica, you are going with number one, traveling. Uh, Claudia, Maria Jose, Silvia, Sofia, Vanessa and Yolanda, number two, credit cards. And Elvis, Mr. Santa Maria, Maria Ivania, Mauricio, Noemi, and Rafael, that would be the last one, number three, getting married. So your suggestions have to be based on this topic. Mm, it is not necessary to take notes, to write them down. You can simply say them out loud. Just try to elaborate your ideas a little bit more. And if you can give details, explanation, that would be really, really nice. So we have only five minutes and then we come back. So there you go. Let me know, guys, if you have any difficulty um, accessing the group or anything.
uh, because of uh, always remember to to wear your mask and alcohol. Okay, um, somebody else. I have the same uh, topic. So for me, <laughs> do you say one of that I have? So uh, like traveling, let's revise our tickets, I don't know, or passports. Let's, let's check it, the passport. Um, <laughs> I don't know what's more because I've been uh, like sure that we have all the necessary in our in our I could say maleta. So I forget to say maleta. Luggage. In the suitcase, no, 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 no. Suitcase is protector. Uh, maleta. How is no. it? Say maleta. Be sure not to forget. It's bag. Baggage is equipaje. Baggage. Your bag. Baggage. Bag, bag. So we make sure that we have everything in our baggage. So for me, that is. <clears throat> okay. Be sure make copies of important documents. Yeah. And make sure have your passport. Passport. Yeah. Another one with another, the other topic. Me, I had two examples. Um, uh, the first is uh, try, try not to bring alcoholic drink when you travel. And Why the not? Other can be try not, try mm. to bring the light luggage. Uh, it's important to have your vaccines document with you. Um, also, say where your hotel room. Try not to pass. Uh -huh. Try okay. not to pass. Uh, try Be not to pass. The limit of the credit card. Ah, the limit. So be careful with uh, spending. When you spend money. <laughs> Ah, okay. Uh, try not to pass your credit card limit. If okay. Credit card limit. And for the use, uh, someone say, be sure to take your credit card after your pay. No. Repeat. Uh, for be sure uh, what we can use. Be sure to remember that the good use, I don't know, or that the correct use to the credit card is about the good use. Oh. Sorry, be sure to? To, I don't know, give a, give a, a good use, I don't know. 
What is this? Let me see. Uh, I don't know because be sure for me is something like uh, estar seguro. It's something Try like a, a the credit card when you don't have cash. Sorry. Try to use the credit card when you don't have cash. Yes. Um, hi, I'm sorry to interrupt. I'm not sure if Silvia's idea was more on the correct use of the credit card. So probably instead of make sure we can use like remember, uh, remember to use your credit cards, uh, I don't know, correctly probably, or um, remember to use your credit card only when necessary, something like that. I don't know if I got your idea. Yes, that's the idea. Only when it's necessary. Mm -hmm. Try to use the credit card with only is necessary. And that example is for be sure, sorry, is for remember. Try to use the credit card only with is necessary. We can make a sentence with uh, uh, that they that the credit card is using to pay for for be careful for COVID. Um, be careful. The paper, no, no paper. Your past, ah, yeah, yeah. Uh, sorry, Sophie. Sorry, Sylvia. What is your idea about it? Uh, we have to, uh, in, in this time, people used to pay. To hear the, right now it's here here in the, in the weekend because to attend at the church is more difficult but to hear there is a to hear the the la misa i don't know and, but, yeah, all but the time i believe currently uh, you have a different schedule for misa one ah yeah, but it, I, I, right now I prefer to hear, for example, the Sunday, Monday, the mo the Sunday, they have a, uh huh, it's special at six o'clock. They have a at at uh, six o'clock p.m. There is a mm -hmm. uh, there is a church in and you can see you can you can hear in in rain in the radio. Uh, you can and you can. Is this is this it maybe it's, it's it's the same, but and you 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 can listen in the the church in in family. No? It is right. a good idea. Uh -huh. For the COVID. Uh -huh, yeah, for the COVID. Uh -huh. It's uh because right now there it's uh I attend at the church uh, one month ago. It was very crowded, so I prefer to stay out of the church because uh, the people don't don't. It's you you feel not comfortable. Uh -huh. mm. It depends the day. Yeah, yes. yeah. It depends the day. Uh -huh. Are you sure?
Hey guys, uh, thank you so much for coming back. So uh, I heard like very nice suggestions in the groups, like um, about the different topics that we got, including uh, this thing of getting married, traveling, using credit cards. I think that you got very good tips for us. Um, so give me just a second. Uh, yeah, we are going to wait just uh, like two more seconds for everybody to be back. I guess they were, they are still discussing some other ideas. Okay. Yeah, okay. I guess I got everybody back. Thank you guys for coming. Um, so we were like given some of these suggestions about uh, the three topics before. So let's go ahead and listen to some of your suggestions in regards to traveling. What do you recommend for traveling? Any volunteers? Uh, try, try to get to the airport on time. Uh, okay. All right. So it, it's a good idea to try to get to the airport on time. Actually, it is necessary, right? To try to get to the airport. Um, now, I'm not sure if two or three hours are necessary. Before, I think it was like three for the check-in process. Mm -hmm. Three, right? Mm -hmm. So try to get at least three hours before. Okay. Um, any other recommendation you discussed? Be sure make copies of important documents. All right, so make sure you have a, a, like copies of them, of your IDs, all right. Uh, anything else? Try to travel in very light. Oh, okay, so light luggage, all right, uh -huh. nice. What else? It's important to have your vaccine documents with you. Ah, okay, now it's with the COVID, the COVID vaccines, right? Okay. I think you have a recommendation about alcoholic drinks. Yes. Uh, try not to bring alcoholic drinks when you travel. Yeah, right. Uh, I don't really know what is the, the um, there is like a legal amount that you can take, but I'm not sure how much it is. Um, somebody knows? Does anybody know? No idea. Yeah, me neither. I, I just know that there is a limit, but I'm not sure how, how much. All right, but you better not do it. <laughs> okay, any other recommendation there? Okay, let's then jump to the second topic that is credit cards. How many of you have credit cards? Uh, for, for remember, mm -hmm. uh, we can just re remember not to share your credit card pin. Oh, that's a really good one. Yeah, that's a really good one. Okay. And not only for your credit card, but for everything, right? Uh, debit card. I did now that we have online banking or we have applications, so try not to share like sensitive information. A very good recommendation. What else, guys? Try to pay the credit card uh, on time. Oh, yes. That's a very important one. So try to pay it on time, okay? I recommend you cut your card. To cut it? To cut, yes. Um, how? Not use your... Don't uh, use the to, credit card. Not use the credit card. Ah, uh, like you recommend yes. not to use credit card. Yes. It's the if best you way, don't have yeah. money, you, you can spend the money that you don't have <laughs> okay i yes. see i thought you were talking about like when it expires or when you don't need it anymore that you should cut it in pieces but it's like try not <laughs> to use a credit card or try not to have a credit card okay right okay Th that's uh, okay for me the plan, that is a good that is a, a very good recommendation <laughs> not, not I to do request. That. I cut my credit card a <laughs> long time ago. Oh, okay. Uh, I use, I, I prefer to use the 
Debit card? Uh, credit card. The other is the debit card. Debit card, uh -huh. yeah. Okay. Debit card, because you use your money. To you, if you don't have... I you don't it, have, you and don't that's it. Money, oh. no? uh -huh. That's a good point. I have used uh, credit for cards me, for a long uh, time. It's different. Uh, what, what is the recommendation, Elvis, in your for case? It's different. Why? Yes, you, you use the credit card for the supermarket. And you save money. If you uh, buy a $100, you, sometimes you say a 16% your buy. Oh, okay. 16%? You 16%. 16%. Yeah. Sometimes. Which credit Anything, card? Yes. yes, they give me money. And if I pay before the time, uh, I never, nothing. I never pay nothing. Um, what is the bank that you use? Because yeah, I yeah. need to notice. Because I have never heard 16% off yeah, in a credit card. Yeah. I have heard seven. No, no. Papa, Cocos Caplan doesn't give you 16. What, what bank do you use or why do you get very good benefits? <laughs> no, with the, with the, with the Walmart. Uh, yeah. credit. Uh -huh. uh, because yeah, we have you, have to, you have to be first. very you have to be very uh, careful or very organized. carefully with your yeah, yeah, eye to pay on time Control. and if you Control. if you do that you don't have any problem yeah the, the yeah. problem but, with credit cards is the interest yeah. right so that's yes. a really good one you pass, uh -huh. you pass the time exactly but when you pay in the on the time never interest uh -huh. Th that's a good point. They don't charge the uh -huh. interest. Uh -huh. Exactly. So as long as you manage like your money uh, or you are very organized, I think you're good. Uh -huh. But mm -hmm. Rafael's recommendation is still come very handy. Uh, so not to have a, a credit card, you know, like to cut it out in pieces. Okay. <laughs> if you have else? it, have a budget. Oh, have a budget. Exactly. So, yeah. or just be organized. Uh -huh. Somebody said before, um, don't spend probably some more than you can pay, right? Or more than you can afford. That's important. Any other recommendation, guys? Try not to use your credit card in suspect sites. Um, ah, yeah. That's a nice one. For example, uh, when you when you need to uh, buy something on internet, uh, there are a lot of uh, play, uh, sites, uh, websites uh, that uh, know is an office official for mm -hmm. some places, and you need to uh, take a, a specific um, information. Uh, be careful so, uh, about it. So they can steal uh -huh, your, your ID. All right. That's good to know. Thank you for that. But I, uh, I, yes. Yes, I yes. think that the, the, the principal a problem with the, when, when you use the credit card is that uh, you think that money is yours. That's a good thing and a, and, and a good recommendation to always have in mind that it is not your money, that you have to pay it back, yes. right? Mm -hmm. Nice. Yes. I really love your recommendations yes. here. They are really, really nice. Um, we still have a topic though, that is getting married. Guys, what is your recommendation about getting married? Who has topic number three? Or anybody, if you have any extra recommendations, so go ahead and say it. Try to respect your partner always. Oh, okay. Like try Don't to respect forget your each other. Anniversary. The anniversary. Yeah. Oh, okay. Don't forget the anniversary. Okay. Anything make else? Sure, make sure to keep respect. Make sure to give respect for each other. Okay. Anything else? Mr. Lopez. Mr. Lopez is very quiet. Mr. Lopez, what is your recommendation? Uh, um, will you tell me about? 
<clears throat> sure, the topic is like getting married. So what is your recommendation when getting married? Or I don't know if anybody else has a different recommendation here. So try to uh, keep respect for each other, right? Anything don't else? Don't forget, don't forget God and go to the church. Oh, okay. So don't forget like to be religious or thankful with God, all right? Anything else? Don't forget to uh, pay the bill, the house. Okay, <laughs> okay. Don't forget to pay the bills. Or don't forget to remind <laughs> your couple, right, uh, to pay the bills so that both can work. Okay, what else? Remember to get married, uh, you're, you get more responsibilities. Mm, okay, okay, that's nice. Anything else? Guys, who is married here? Who can give us like some insight and some recommendations? <laughs> All of Me? us. Remember oh, to, seriously. Okay. Remember to care the remember to care the the children's all the time. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, okay. Both. No, guys. So if you are all married, so you have a lot of experience and a lot of, you know, recommendations for us who are still single. <laughs> okay. Anything else? Teacher. Yeah. Remember to listen when the other speak. Oh, okay. I really love your recommendations. I think we should bring this topic more, um, more often, you know. Up. <laughs> okay, thank you guys. Amazing job, very good job with the suggestions. Grammatically, I heard very good ideas and like we follow patterns, easy to, to understand. So cool, very, very nice. I still do have a topic for you though. That is in regards to, give me one sec, in regards to infinitive. So we can practice speaking a little bit more. And uh, I got these three questions. It's only three. So I got these three questions for you that we are going to be discussing a little bit more in deep. Um, we have, for example, what is something you plan to do soon? So plan to, always after plan, we are going to use to. The second one says, what is something that you started to do, but you didn't finish? So we have a start a two, right? Plan two, a start two. And, uh, and we have the last one. Talk about a recent big decision you made and what did you decide? After decide, we are also going to use, I decide to. If this is in past, so I decided to, I started to, or I planned, Two, right? So we are going to discuss these three questions and uh, we still have the questions from yesterday to practice, but no worries about it. Uh, guys, if you can take a picture of them, that would be super cool. So we can go ahead and uh, practice them. Two, three, how many are we? We are 19. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think we can still work with the same people. Okay, I'm going to give you only five minutes so we can speak as much as we can. Um, remember, try to make like general questions. So if you feel like answering, go ahead and try to participate and give details of your answer. Uh, I'm going to invite you to go to the groups right now and we have only five minutes. Then we come back and we share ideas. Guys, enjoy it. Let's go there. Okay.
Mr. Lopez. The exercise. I started like very hard in the the past doing exercise, but I didn't finish like uh result that I expected. So that's cool be for me. I started yeah. to do ex start exercise, but I never finished like I always finish <laughs> in the first week. First two weeks um. I only do my the best of me and now in the in the third week I say you know what he ain't gonna love me like I be so I don't go to him more <laughs> you have to keep going yeah and it's it's important yeah. uh do exercise but I think that I did I don't be the only one that I started uh the exercise and in the in the moment that that maybe I've been doing exercise, I don't know. I think, oh my God, this is so hard. You need to have more discipline, like a serious yeah. discipline with your with food, the routine, the routine, the exercise. Yeah. So maybe I think that this is one of the reasons that I didn't finish. And I think that exercise is don't don't have like uh the beginning and the and the finish because if you want to be a healthy person, you're gonna be healthy uh all the the, the time that you want to be healthy. It's like something that you don't it doesn't matter the the moment that you're gonna start it, but you need to know that you need to continue with this change on your life so for me uh, it's is that the exercise and what about you All right tell us um, that you started but never finished started but never finished i was um learning a programming language uh, called python um python is a programming language um it is very important for it persons. I started to learn a little bit about it, but I haven't finished. I, I recently, I've been looking for some other topics, some other languages, and that's it. I didn't finish, but I know that I have to, to finish because there are going to be better opportunities. But Python, what is Python? Python is a program, uh, programming language is, um, for example, if you want to um, to program uh, an application, for example, an application WhatsApp, you can you can do that with Python or any other uh, programming language. But only with different language. Um. Yeah. Okay. That's but they are different. That's cool. So what about the other ones? Friends to do, but never finish it. <laughs> In my case, make a tricot or crochet uh, some uh, manteles. <laughs> you didn't finish too. I never finished them. <laughs> Only I started to do, but I never finished them. Finished them. <laughs> Infinite. <laughs> In the case of uh, lo dejé a medias, is I left off. I left up. Oh. I, uh, <laughs> my own business, I left up. Off. Oh, is a plus, Albert. Off. Left off. Okay. Uh, okay. In my case, I didn't finish my book. I try to to read every to read every day, but I can't. I don't have time. 
Hay quickies. Hay quickies. And the last one. Talk about a recent big decision you made. What did you decide, Vanessa? Mm. Sorry, I don't see the image when the... Okay. Repeat the question, please. Uh, talk about a recent big decision you made. Mm -hmm. What did you decide? Mm, I decide... Thank you guys. Uh, so thank you so much for coming back. Um, so we still have a couple of seconds here to go over some answers. Um, so let's go in general with the last part. Now oh, we need like much more time for this. Okay, so for example, let's take a look at the last question we have here. That is um, the, big, the biggest decision you have made and what did you decide? Guys, what is the biggest decision you have made? Or like the most recent decision you have made? Get uh, married. Get married. Oh, congrats. So when are you getting married? Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, oh well wait was that the decision or have you already gotten married no, or in the future oh okay so now you are married it is done <laughs> okay okay so when did you get married this year last year The last year. Oh, all right. So congrats. That is that is amazing. But but now you are good with that, or do you regret? Uh, I regret. Oh, okay. Look, guys, we really need more information on this. <laughs> Okay, that is too limited. I'm sorry, guys. I'm super curious. So if you give me a piece of information, I will be asking for more. <laughs> okay. No look, uh, look, from yesterday, we had these questions. Um, wait. Oh, my God. Where are you? Okay, so we were discussing uh, these questions from yesterday, right? Um, that are related, you know, to some gerunds. And today we were like checking a couple of infinitive verbs as well. Same thing with it yesterday. Select one question, okay. But we are going to increase the time. We are going to make it up to one minute for tomorrow. So I know that you already discussed them. No es que vayan a hacer algo más, you know, investigar algo. No, because this is your life. This is your information. Lo único que van a hacer es choose a question, right? Something that you want to share with us. Think about it. Try to practice it. Y si hay algo, una palabra que no sepan, 
go to your dictionary, find a way how to say it. Si se sienten más cómodos escribiéndolo, write it down and then you tell us tomorrow because I really want to know why. <laughs> I, I am really curious. I want to listen to more details. Um, I'm sorry, guys. I have to let you go. Unfortunately, time goes so fast. Um, please, no se les olvide trabajar en la plataforma. Hay un ejercicio que me comentaba Yolanda con el que tienen dificultades, que es de Carnival Time. Hay un listening y no se los está tomando. All right. And uh, so, lo que les puedo um, recomendar por el momento es utilicen sujeto verbo, por ejemplo, it is, or they are, para que se los tome y no se les olvide el puntito final. Si todavía les está dando dificultades después de intentar con una oración completa, eh, me dicen el día de mañana y lo revisamos durante la clase, you know, eh, para que ya les salga bien. Uh, solamente okay. por ahorita intentemos oración completa, sujeto verbo, please. All right. Thank you, guys. And we have, and we have to put the, el punto at the end. Eh, sí, porque comenzamos con oración. Como es una oración completa, so it is, eh, primero letra mayúscula y el punto al final. Uh -huh. Ah, ok. So, uh, let's, let's give I, it a try. I okay. try in several it, forms. And it didn't work. <laughs> no. Do me a favor. No, si, uh, si tiene el, el acceso in this very moment, tómelo una captura, me lo manda y yo lo reviso. Porque puede ser un eh, problema de forma, yo no know, que el de nosotros esté mal. O que hay algo más, right? Que podamos hacer y para solventarlo. Um, so, mm -hmm. if you can take like a screenshot or a picture, send it to me mm -hmm, and I'll check it out. All right. Thank you guys. Nos vemos mañana. I'll be seeing you tomorrow. Bye. Have a good, good night. night. Good night. Good tomorrow. Bye. 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 Bye.